Hi boys and girls, today we're going to read Dot the Fire Dog, written by Lisa Desimini, um, obviously about a fire station dog and maybe the firefighters that work there. You can tell a lot about a book by what's on the cover, right? So that is what I am picking up from this book. I'm super excited to read this book as we've been talking more about community and community helpers. And I don't know if you know this, but animals can be community helpers. You have fire, uh, fire dogs, police dogs, um, and all different kinds of animals in the community that can also be community helpers. So this is Dot the Fire Dog. There is the fire um, fighter uniform. Some jobs you need uniforms for. <clears throat> Dot the fire dog lives in the firehouse and sleeps by the firefighter's big rubber boots. Their black jackets with yellow stripes hang on hooks next to their helmets while the big red fire truck waits downstairs. The firefighters might be stirring a pot of spaghetti or reading a book or playing catch with Dot when... Ring, 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 ring! Everyone stops. Now they move fast. They pull on their big rubber boots and put on their pants and their jackets. Don't forget your helmets. You too, Dot. Dot and the firefighters jump into the truck and drive out the firehouse door. They turn on the sirens and everyone gets out of their way. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Have you ever heard a fire truck in your neighborhood? Their sirens are pretty loud, huh? The fire truck stops in front of the burning house. Dot and a firefighter run inside to wake up an old man who is sick in bed. The firefighter carries him to safety. Oh no, Dot hears a kitten. It must be trapped inside the house. Dot goes back. She comes out carrying the little kitten in her mouth. So she went back into the house to rescue the kitten. A firefighter climbs the ladder and breaks a window to let the smoke out. Down below, it takes three firefighters to aim the water at the windows. It takes a while, but the fire is finally out. <clears throat> the firefighters load their gear onto the truck. The old man is feeling better. He thanks the firefighters and the little kitten licks Dot's nose. Do you think she's telling him thank or telling Dot thank you? I think so. Back at the firehouse, the firefighters step out of their boots and pants and hang up their jackets next to their helmets. Dot's helmet comes off too. Everything gets checked out and put away. The truck gets washed outside behind the station. So they're giving the truck a nice wash. Now the firefighters can rest after a job well done. They might play a game of checkers or eat a bowl of soup. Dot takes a nap next to the big rubber boots, but she will be ready when the alarm bell rings again. And here are some of Dot's fire safety tips. Do not play with matches, lighters, lit candles, stoves, or fire. Have smoke detectors throughout your house or building and test them each month. At the first sign of a fire or the sound of a fire alarm, go outside quickly to safety. If you can't get out, stay low to the ground. Don't hide. Stay where the firefighters can find you. Do not go back into the building no matter what. Tell an adult always about the fire. Know your local emergency number often. It's often 911. Set up an escape plan with your family and practice it. If the air is filled with too much smoke, crawl on the floor so you won't breathe in the smoke. Touch any closed doors. 
not doorknobs, <laughs> with the back of your hand. Do not open them if they are hot. Find another way out. If your clothes catch fire, stop, drop to the ground, and roll. Do not run. So, firefighters are so important because they protect us from some of the dangers that fires can cause, right? So, those are a little bit of tips to help you stay safe um, when it comes to fire. So, that is all I have for you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!